Hi, this is Peter Godinus again with KEYTV.net with a series of Good Morning Oxnard. And I have a gentleman here who somehow, his, he's done a great job of marketing his face and his name. He's the kind of person you walk up and I always have to challenge you like, I don't know you, but you know me, obviously. And that's because he works for Premier Options in real estate. His name is Bob Taylor. But he does a lot of stuff for the community, in particular Oxnard and Ventura County. And he's got a very special, very informative event that I want to say no more and I want to turn over the information to him. So Bob, welcome to the series. And tell us about this very informative, exciting event that we have coming up. Well, thank you for the introduction, Peter. I really appreciate Getting that. Getting my best shot, so I will go with it. Very good. Um, well, what we did, we put together a committee, uh, a nonpartisan committee, Act is actually made up of a couple Republicans, a couple of Democrats, and some independents. And we decided to put together an information event <coughs> between Julia Brownlee and Jeff Burrell. Now, the event is um, strictly for information gathering, it's not partisan whatsoever. It's going to be questions that come from the veteran groups or veteran family groups. Uh, they're going to come to us online, and we're going to go through a series of questions to both of them, give them both a chance to give their little speech ahead of time ask the same questions to both of them, and give a little speech at closing. It's an information gathering event. We are not, um, we are not a group of Republicans putting it on, we are not a group of Democrats putting it on. We are a group of people concerned for our veterans, as everybody should be that calls themselves an American. And we want to make sure that the veterans get the information out um, and the questions answered before this election. It's a very important election. I would like all Republicans <coughs> to think when it's over, boy, if Julia Brown wins, it's not going to be so bad. I want all Democrats to think, hey, if Jeff Burrell wins, it's not going to be so bad. So I want it to come back as the real information from both of them and how they feel about things. Um, no practice questions, no questions from the audience that could get skewed, although there may be some questions that come in from people that will be in the audience. Right. They will be online ahead of time to make sure that the questions aren't off-sided in one way or another. Right. And you, know, you hear so many things when you're watching TV, it's, well, because the Republicans believe this, how do you feel about this? Or because the Democrats or because Obama has blown everything else, how would you handle this? And those are the questions we don't want to hear right. um, when we're out there. Because that just tends to cause more animosity and problems between everybody. Yeah. So we want to just make sure it's a great little information thing. And uh, everybody sits in a little spot. We get it out on KDTV for all the veterans and their groups to be able to see. And hopefully we'll get the information out to those that really do need the information as to how to move forward <coughs> in the country. Now I know I've like, been kind of uh, versed on what the format's going to be, some questions are going to be uh, decided upon, yes. and the same questions are going to be asked of each candidate, yes. understand, separately, so there's not this, you know, I'm in this corner and I got my dukes out back, and so I love the way uh, the format you do is you're taking uh, a large amount of the emotions out of it, you know, that's cut to it by saying that. Exactly, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. Um, it's hard to get the proper information out when it's me against you or you against me. Right. And so that's what we're trying to avoid. We don't want any you know, screaming and cheering when somebody says something they like or screaming and cheering when somebody says something that doesn't isn't like. So um, that's why we're very encouraging to everybody, um, especially the veterans and families that will be in the audience, to come in with an open mind, um, not with an agenda, and just listen to the facts and see who will best serve you as they move forward in their uh, election. Right. And you know, to me, it's just like ask questions. It's such a challenge, and I love that what you're trying to do is you're trying to get people, in this case it's the veterans, to just lower their, their agendas just a little bit to be open-minded about maybe other people. Is, yeah. that, is that true? Well, you know, everybody in the United States, as far as I know, anybody that I know that calls themselves an American, yeah. is extremely concerned for our veterans. Yes. Now, you know, as to how we want to handle things, everybody wants to handle things a little bit different, but it's important that the issues that are important to you, and every veteran's case is a little different. So how your case, or how your health care, or how your, uh, your feelings about the vet, um, Veterans Administration, all of that should be laid out um, so you know exactly what you're doing on an informed basis and going forward. You know, everybody has an opinion about what's going on with the Veterans Administration. You know, some people think, gee, they just got to fire everybody and start over again. Others think, oh, we have some good people there. Let's just work with them and move forward and do the best that we can. 
Um, some, of the, some good things have happened because of the problems we've had, and some have moved this fast. Mm -hmm. It's a better to have those opinions, and I do believe that if we get the information out to everybody, then from the information they get at that time, they can form the opinions of what is best for them, mm -hmm. their family, and their situation, as opposed to what's best for my party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important that people look at the whole thing as to what's better for the veterans, not necessarily what do the Republicans say is best for the veterans or the Democrats say is best for the veterans. And if we could do that on an individual basis, you know, I'd call it a little grassroots thing maybe for veterans. No, I love it. But, um, and we don't want to call it a debate. Debate causes problems. It's just information yeah. gathering for the veterans. It's been a big debate. There's a winner and there's a loser. Yes. And, you know, it's like, I guess I, I love competition, but the problem with competition is, guess what, 50% of the people who show up are going to be losers. And, you know, that's the problem with the word debate. Right. You well, know, it's a it's competition. Competition. I competition is good. But you don't gather all the information you need to gather at, at, at what is called a competition. Generally, with that kind of uh, town hall debate or debate, one person will say something, everybody will be excited about the one thing, and everything else will be lost, mm -hmm. whether it's one side or the other. Mm -hmm. So they don't pay attention to everything. This, hopefully, they'll both answer the same questions. Um, they'll both give them good, honest answers as to what exactly things mean to them and, and how they would move forward with certain things or, or the, the support they would get from different groups who they have for support, and how they will move forward with the situations and the challenges that we have with our Veterans Association. The challenges we have now are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, we didn't notice these things coming out of Vietnam. Right. Did we have some people that really needed the help? Yes, we sure did. Mm -hmm. We just kind of brushed that kind of thing under the table. Right. You know, part of your day, ah, so you're having a little problem. You know, we'll brush it aside. Right. Well, no, that's not right. These people put their life on the lines for us on a daily basis. How how we take care of our veterans very much is how they're going to take care of us. Exactly. And, and did take care of us. Did take care of us. Yeah. And so it's not just for today and those that have served. It's moving forward and those that are going to serve. And not just the people, but who's behind those people. I mean, it's the families that are supporting that. It's not just the the person serving, whether it's male or female, but it's family serving as well in one way or another. Exactly. The wife that stay home, the kids that are there, uh, the husbands that stay home. Mm -hmm. um, so however however it is affected, I think that's important for everybody to know. No, I would agree, and I, I compliment you, and I hope there are more personalities in our culture that, and I'm really not a big fan of attitude, because I can't see an attitude, but the behavior that says, you know, I gotta step out of my own mode and understand things from a non-emotional viewpoint, yes, yes. informational, and as painful as that is sometimes, I just have to bear up and look at it, maybe just in my own head, and see how it comes out. And sometimes that, I think it's hard when, let's say, you're, on, you're kind of running out of oxygen and you gotta, you got to bring yourself, and then you realize, there might be other people who have less oxygen than I have. Right. And that is a really hard thing to do, but I think if you and other people like you, can we continue to practice that behavior? I think just I gotta believe that this is gonna be a better world, and that's the way you know I hope it becomes. Well, I, I think um, sixty percent of us anyway are in, in the middle when it comes to power. You're gonna get twenty percent that are far right and really right. push the right agenda. And you're gonna get twenty percent that are far left and really push the left agenda. It was Ben Franklin years ago that came up with the Ben Franklin scale. The yes. advantages and disadvantages. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes the advantages or disadvantages are a little weightier than something else. So it's kind of hard to weigh those advantages. It is. But if you can look at all the points and, and think about all the points, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or an Independent or any, anything else, um, then you can at least see all the information out there in front of you. And even if one thing means more to you, the way, um, way the hospital was, the military is going to run. You can still see the other information, even if you do feel a little bit stronger for one thing or another. That is amazing. Now, this event's going to be held. I may have said it, but just say it one more time, but it's going to be over at the uh, Cameron City Council. Okay. And um, it's going to start at uh, I believe 7 o'clock, and we're going to have both sides um, coming there and answering the questions on one at a time. Uh, Jeff will get a question, and Julian will answer or get her question, and then Julie will start the next time, and Jeff will do his, or what will we do with it? Both of them will get a chance to be first, and both of them will get a chance to be second. And we're not looking for rebuttals. 
or anything like that. That's not what that's, about. that's what that's what that's debate is for. Right? We're looking strictly for the information as to how people would move forward. Um, how the candidates would move forward with the challenges we have with our veterans association at this time. Now I'm going to have the opportunity to ask this question. So I hope I don't stutter too much, <laughs> and I'll try to smile after each one. But I, I think what you're doing is phenomenal. I hope more of it happens. And I know you and Bob are brainstorming to make sure the word gets out and it's done properly and it's uh, unfiltered and the truth gets out. And the results will hopefully be very positive as soon as you're done. So keep on going, Bob. And I hope when people see and when they're ready to buy real estate, they will consider you. Is that okay to say? Oh, hey, Peter. Thank you very much for the plug. Oh, I certainly don't expect you right You're not a for your promoter of buying, if I used to say that. So thank you very much. Is there any other wisdom that needs to come out of you? I always like to ask that question. Uh, words of wisdom, no. But I, I just hope that everybody looks at this the way it is intended as a nonpartisan town hall um, information gathering meeting as opposed to debate or anything else that is going to cause any um, people to be on one side or the other going in. Yeah. Just to look at this information gathering, who is saying what, and what they firmly believe in. And as long as we get that across, and Bob and I have done a good job, and the committee that uh, was formed to put this on did a good job. And that's what's important to me. Well, let's stick together and change the culture just a bit at a time, okay? One more bit, big guy. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Peter. I really appreciate it. We'll do this. Is Peter Godinas with KDY TV with Good Morning Oxnard. We'll see you next time.